Hi guys, this is Dr. Melissa Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist and the co-founder of TrainMinder. TrainMinder is an aligner tracking app that helps patients to remember to change and to wear their aligners so that they can get the best possible result. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about why it's important to treat both the top and bottom teeth at the same time, rather than just going through orthodontic treatment to address the alignment concerns on the bottom, but not the top or vice versa. A lot of patients that are considering orthodontics, they notice more crowding on their bottom teeth. And that's pretty common. And patients want to know when they come in for a new consultation, whether they should just align their bottom teeth. And the premise is that they think that just by aligning their bottom teeth, but not the top teeth, it will save perhaps time and or money or both. And that's a good thing. I often tell patients that it's not a great idea. And here's why. When you only align the bottom teeth, let's say, you are limiting the amount of full movement that could be expressed because the top teeth are static. The top teeth can't move. And so if there's a movement that you need to do on some teeth on the bottom, you may not be able to move it 100% because the top teeth, they are in the way. Now, when we think about orthodontic treatment, we want to make sure that the teeth are straight and look good. But the other really important aspect of orthodontics is that you need to have a good bite. What is a bite anyway? The bite is the relationship between the top teeth and the bottom teeth. The top teeth and bottom teeth, they should fit together properly so that they come together like a jigsaw puzzle piece. So imagine these grooves on my top teeth, these grooves on the bottom, they should fit together like so, okay? And so when you chew or masticate, there are no gaps. And that's an ideal bite. When you just move some teeth on the bottom but not the top, it can sometimes create interferences or traumatic points of um, contact that will make it quite uncomfortable for you when you bite down. It's akin to getting a new filling with your general dentist. And when you, after the numbing um, anesthetic wears off, you go home and you notice, oh geez, uh, when I bite down, it feels really high in this area or it doesn't feel comfortable. That's what I mean by interferences or traumatic occlusion. When you just only move one tooth, but not the other tooth, sometimes it doesn't fit together properly anymore. And that can cause a lot of problems. So that's the most important reason of why I don't recommend treating just one arch, but not the other. The second important aspect to consider is that when patients go through orthodontic treatment, they start to see a metamorphosis of their bottom teeth. Let's say it's starting to get straight. Then they become hyper-focused on other teeth, namely the top teeth. Then all of a sudden, whereas before they were happy with how the top teeth are looking, they're happy with their smile, now they're so focused that they are starting to notice little um, you know, imperfections, small rotations or, or things like that on the top. And now they want to go back and align their top teeth. At this point, it time would have already lapsed. And so to now align the top teeth, it would take additional time and effort. And so it's not the most efficient way to do it. So I always recommend aligning teeth top and bottom at the same time. And you guys know that I love analogies. So I thought about an analogy that I can tell you that can hit that point home. Think about two people that are in a relationship. They are going through life doing exactly the same thing and they're in harmony with each other. But one day, one person decides that they are going to improve themselves. They are going to start taking a class to learn a new hobby. Maybe they are starting a new exercise and diet routine to lose some weight or to gain some muscle mass. The other partner is still doing exactly the same thing. So as you can imagine, with one partner changing and improving and the other one still staying static, that could create some friction 
uh, between the two people because all of a sudden they are no longer kind of going through life in parallel. There are some areas in which maybe their new lifestyle, the new lifestyle and the old lifestyle doesn't quite mesh together and that can create some tension and friction. So it's best when both partners decide to uh, improve or change together so that they can grow together and improve. So that's kind of my thought process in terms of one arch treatment versus the whole mouth. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Um, in summary, I just like to say that if you are considering orthodontic treatment, go in for an initial consultation and listen to the orthodontist and ask questions and see, you know, why it would be important to treat just, you know, one arch versus two arches. What's the price difference? Ask those questions so that you can be an informed patient. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the TrainMinder channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.